Hello everyone, my name is Hilda and welcome back to my channel for another Chopper Droid video. Now, <laughs> my first Chopper Droid video was not very well received because of complete shenanigans, which you should expect from a channel called Shenanigans in Motion. But I will talk about that a little bit after I talk about this guy. Now, this is the RC, the remote control chopper, and um, I bought this via Shop Disney, and I know I don't really want to give Disney my money right now, but I love chopper and I've wanted chopper merch ever since Rebels first aired so many years ago, so... I had to have him. He was 110 euros, shipping included, and I got him on Shop Disney EU. Um, is this the same one that they have in Galaxy's Edge? I don't know. I have not compared them side by side. If I wanted to do that, I'd have to ask Quarantine. Uh, Quarantine, I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Uh, if I can put mine next to his. Um, but yeah, it's remote control. It looks the same at first glance. I've seen quarantines at Comic-Con Brussels. Um, so yeah, they might be, they might not be. First of all, this guy did come with a instructions manual uh, or a sheet of instructions. Contrary to my chatterback chopper, I'm just gonna position him here. That works. If not, I will put him in the sofa. Can you stay here? I will, I will support him. No. Is he? Yeah, he's got a stick. Um, so he did come with instructions. However, the instructions were for a remote that is not this remote. So I got my husband involved as well because I was like, I can probably figure this out, but I can't really be bothered. <laughs> um, because I was just at that point going like, Really, really, that's that's ah, sigh. But in the end, um, basically the button that is supposed to be on the back to pair him is this one, if I remember correctly. And then this button here will make him speak. And he has a whole bunch of different phrases. And then this is forwards, backwards, and this turns his head. I will have a proper video of him rolling around towards the end, but then again, of course, he can go sideways, left, right, you know, the standard fare. He moves fairly fast, and um, I've not played with him a ton, so obviously I'm not super good at it yet. Like, not like my spider bot, whom I can make do all sorts of funky turns and, and run quite fast and stuff at this point. Well, as fast as spider bot can go, which is much slower than this guy. But um, yeah, um, so basically the initial setup is not that easy. It's totally doable, but it's a lot of faffing about. And um, if you give this to a child and children are inclined, as are a lot of adults, I will admit, to just grab it and want to play with it, it's not that simple. Now, let me explain to you why as well, as aside from the pairing. You see, he has this wheel, which is his main movement. Ah, uh, hair on the wheel, hair on the wheel. Um, sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, this is his main movement. But then he has his legs set like this. If you do not, if you have him straight out of the box, he will go forward and backwards, but he will fall over every time he stops. Um, if you don't move the uh, the legs back far, far enough or not at the same equal height as that, you know, like if they're not lined up together, so to speak, um, properly, he will only do circles. He will only spin in circles of different sizes. So you have to move him quite far backwards and then both aligned and then he will work properly. So, um, once you figure it out, it's best to just put him somewhere with the legs constantly extended properly so you don't have to bother with that anymore because it's faffing about. Um, that's that um, said, he's really fun. He is, in the end of the day, a big hunk of plastic. Um, the paint job is all right, but you can see that he's kind of like 
great plastic, so to speak. Um, it's not really amazing. These arms can come off. This can move as well, but you have to move them manually. Uh, they're not remote controlled. And um, if you take him somewhere to play with him, I would advise taking them out. To illustrate how quickly an arm is lost when you least expect it, I put him down on my sofa, which is nice and soft. And here's an arm. And I can just plug it back. It's not a problem. It does require a little bit of string behind it. Um, so yeah, his arm has returned. But see my point of like not taking him out with the arms on? Always take off the arms when you go play somewhere with him where the arm is probably not going to be retrieved again. Well, both arms. But yeah, quickly interjecting this. But um, if you're looking for like high quality, beautiful droid that could just like be super, 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 super pretty and not just a hunk of plastic toy, this is not a Sphero droid because I have the Sphero R2-D2, which was... Uh, also remote control, but with an app on your phone. And sadly, the app has never gotten updated. Uh, so it doesn't work anymore on the current phones, which is a right shame. But at least R2 is now a pretty statue. But he was so good. And it, ah, I, I really wish that Disney, if, they, if they're going to do something useful, bring back the Sphero app, bring back the Sphero droids and add a chopper, but bring back the app um, and the force bands and just like bring it all back so everybody who owns one can play with them again. Please, please do. But um, I digress. So yeah, um, he's fairly heavy, like I mentioned. And yeah, uh, I'm not sure if I would let my nearly five-year-old nephew play with this. Probably not, because I feel like this is not really suitable for small children. Um, the box probably said ages three and up. I can't check it, it's in the attic, but yeah. Um, is it fun? Absolutely. Uh, I love remote control droids and toys in general speaking, but uh, I, I'm not sure if I love him more than my spider bot. <coughs> Clearly he's not in agreement with that statement, but um, I do love you Chopper, don't you worry. But yeah. Um, I would, I would give him an 8 out of 10. Um, if you're an absolute Star Wars fan and a droid collector and a, you know, a droid lover and you love Rebels, you love Chopper, um, by all means, get this. Because, yeah, it's just a lot, a lot of fun. And, um, yeah, this takes uh, four AA batteries, I think, and then a couple more in the remote. I, I'm not sure. But... Um, it's standard batteries, it's either uh, AAAs or just like double A's, and you can put uh, rechargeable ones in there, so that's good as well. I have. His head can come off, and it's a little bit faffy to put it back on because it's not just a circular click on point, it's got like a little cutout as well, so you have to match it up correctly, and uh, the visibility of that is not great. Now, the wheel is really fun. It's a proper wheel, it's one of the only proper, proper things <laughs> other than, you know, a lot of plastic. But yeah, um, what I did like about the packaging of the Chatterback Chopper was that it was completely and utterly plastic free. That was sadly not the case with this guy. So clearly Disney can do uh, more ecological packaging, but they don't always want to. So yeah, that's another thing they should do better. Ah, <laughs> yeah, well, He's fun. I like him. And that's pretty much all I have to say about him.
they're going to be loud and annoying the entire time, but it is a chatterback chopper for a reason. Now, as I've briefly mentioned, <laughs> this guy came without proper instructions. Yeah, that's how I feel about that as well. So basically what I did was when I got him, I got him out of the box, read the leaflet that came with it, which was like, put in these kinds of batteries, safety instructions, la la la. And, uh, I just went like, well, we're just gonna play with him straight out of the box because that's what a lot of people would do and a lot of kids would do. Uh, of course, kids are people too, but you know what I mean. And everybody else who gets no instructions with their chopper. Yes, do better, Disney. Um, but yeah, so that's why I filmed that completely ridiculous video. And uh, I kind of stand with what I said because even with his legs completely pulled back on a flat surface, he's fallen over twice today already. So. I think mine malfunctions a little bit. Um, also, initially, the legs would not go backwards at all. They were like shut in position. And I will admit that I was a little bit afraid to wrench them backwards because I figured like if my other chopper's legs go all the way back, then potentially this guy's legs need to go all the way back as well. And so, I ended up just sort of like full force wrenching them back and I was so certain I would take off a leg, but like just about I didn't. Um, and he is like better functioning, I would say. Not fully functioning, but at least better functioning. <laughs> um, my initial review kind of stands though, aside from the constantly falling over part because he doesn't constantly fall over anymore. Is he fun? Sure. Would I purchase him again? No. Would I purchase the RC one again if, if this one breaks and he's still available? Yes. So enough said. It, it is also a bit of fun to just like put them next to each other and have them like chatter at each other. Um, but I, I much prefer this one to this one. That said, I'm, I'm happy I have both. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to <laughs> elaborate on my initial review because it had clearly upset a lot of people. Also, um, first up, I want to say thank you to the people who took the time to send me a very kind and polite message helping me out with the instructions I was lacking. But uh, to those who, to those keyboard warriors who felt the need to leave a very rude message, um, let me make one thing very straight. You don't dictate what I post. You don't dictate how I make my videos. I don't actually care what you have to say. You're an anonymous pe person on the internet. And I have a thick skin. Literally my response to hate comments is rolling my eyes, sighing, deleting the comments and muting you from my channel. So you can't even get an actual response out of me. So please go use your time better than trying to be a bully on the internet. It doesn't work on me. Um, so yeah, the initial review will stay up. I have turned off comments because, guys, I have better things to do in my time than deal with rude people. Um, but yeah, so uh, it has been figured out for the most part sans instructions, but with the help of kind people. Thank you, kind people. And um, yeah, uh, it, it's fun. I now have two choppers. Um, Will I buy more choppers? It depends on what is released. Um, I'm not saying no. I'm also not saying yes. I would preferably like to get small shop chopper stuff because I really don't feel good about giving Disney my money. Um, so there's that. Um, but yeah, I, I think that the only actual chopper I would still get is as is if Sphero, and you've heard me talk about Sphero before in this video, if Sphero comes out with a chopper, it will be an insta buy, and otherwise, it will very most likely be small shop stuff. The only thing I would buy directly from Disney is if they come out with a highly realistic Lotcat 
like from the series. I will insert a little clip here, if it's possible. I don't know if it's possible, but if it's possible, I would insert a little clip here. Um, if not, I will link to the trailer for Ahsoka, where there is a lot cat, because they are adorable. And I have one lot cat, just this wee one that I got at Forbidden Planet in London last year. <coughs> See if they can talk to each other. We are now friends. Not anymore, but yeah. <laughs> Cute, right? But yeah, I, lo I love lot cats, but like Chopper, there is not enough good lot cat merch. But that aside, this is my um, comeback to the chatterback Chopper, if you will. Dude, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> As a final disclaimer, before I go into my usual closing spiel, so to speak, I do want to say that this video is made whilst the ACFA, uh, the SAGAFRA uh, Actors Guild and the uh, American Writers Guild strike is still going on, and Disney is one of the struck companies. Now, of course, shows like Ahsoka would not be happening without the hard work of the writers, the actors, and everybody else on the crew, um, uh, on the production team, making these shows uh, and without these shows we wouldn't have toys like this fun chopper so i just want to put that out there and uh yeah i support the strike because disney really 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 needs to do better on so many things but yeah that aside i hope you enjoyed this video it was pretty shenanigansy but um what did you expect really um and yeah uh let me know in the comments down below are you a star wars fan do you like chopper who is your favorite droid are we chopper twins um yeah that's it for uh this video i suppose uh subscribe if you want to stick around for more genetic emotions hit that notification bell to be sure because that is pretty much the only guarantee that youtube will show you my new uploads to subscribe and to hit the bell um, because they sure like to make things difficult for everyone involved, not just creators, but viewers as well. Um, I'm not sure if they're gonna be cats. They're, they're not very fond of this chopper, so potentially not. We'll see, we'll see. But there will be chopper talking to chopper, so that's fun, right? And yeah, that's it for today. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!